How is it going, fellow stud muffins? Welcome to the video on Eight Thoughts. And in this video, we will be reviewing The Last of Us Part 2. I'll give my review and the community's review, and we'll talk about it. So essentially, it's like a community review for The Last of Us Part 2. So as well, there will be spoilers in this video. I'll tell you the spoilers are coming, but trust me, you're not going to want to play this game anyways. So the spoilers that I'm going to give you are going to, in fact, save you from having to play this game. Because once you find out what actually happens, you will be like, yeah, I ain't trying to play this game. Because, you know, hey, spoiler alert, the game sucks. It's a piece of junk. It's not good. It's not like, you know, like this guy would be saying here, Oh my god, oh my god, The Last of Us 2 Part 2 um, is particularly, particularly user score bombed on Medic. Oh my god, Medic. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. These reviews over here, these reviews here, user score are completely are fabricated. They're just mad because, because there's women in each other who love each other and no, it had nothing to do with the actual game itself. Wrong. <laughs> Like, you know what, if, if you don't want to take my word for it and you want to believe this Paul Tassie looking guy here, whatever, I mean, some ordinary gamers, one of the most reputable, reliable sources, if you don't know who he is, amazing YouTuber, millions of subs, very reputable in the community. Even he is saying, considering last night's stream, review score still seems a bit higher. He knows the game sucks. Anybody I've talked to who you'd put like any ounce of actual like trust in says this game is garbage present company included. The reason why I got 95 is because media, paid shills, SJW mentality. If it's got two women in there kissing and trans people getting an own. You, you can't talk bad about the game. If you do, it's because, it's because, it's because you know what? You are, you, you're trans. <laughs> but you'll see as we go through the reviews here, they all have the same problems. They all have the same quarrel with the game and they all say the same thing. It's very obvious why the game sucks. And apparently if you get a review copy, um, you're supposed to say it's good because you're a paid show. Like you can't trust the media here anymore. It's really weird. Obviously, hey, that's not even like, you know, fake news is actually fake news. That's just funny thing. And YouTubers who get review copies, uh, you can't trust them. Trust the people that play the game who don't get paid by any corporation or make any money by telling whether a game is good or bad because if you say the game's horrible and you bomb this game and you give it like a bad score you probably you know might be out of a job because people don't want truth anymore because feelings are more important than facts so enough with that jibber jabber here let's just get into it let's talk about it long story short don't buy it's a piece of junk and it's just not a good game a lot of these reviews here from the community who've played the game echo exactly what i would say as well for example first one here chopper 323 honestly the it's an SJW game. Isn't even the reason everyone is so upset. It's that Naughty Dog ruined such beloved characters and created a terrible story in the process that makes this game unbearable to even finish. The only good thing about this game is the graphics, but I wouldn't even say that's a compliment because we already expected them to be good. Just stick with the first game. That sentiment is what you're going to see echo throughout all these reviews and me as well. It breaks my heart to write this, but I did not expect such a poor story after all these years of waiting. While there were a few genuinely good moments, majority of game filled up with plot holes. It just took elements of what worked for the first game without understanding what made them compelling. It seems like this game was done by other studio, but it's not. The basic gameplay has stayed the same for better or worse. Environment puzzles are almost gone. So remove story from the table and you are left with a shallow gameplay that will have you looking for some other game. Here's one by Harry Fernandez gives it a five. Okay. After seven long years, this is what we get. I was still hoping that leaks had not shown everything and well, it didn't, but it was the worst it was worse than I thought. I think this is Harry's second language is English. Gameplay is the same with very small improvements, which is sadder after seven years. Gunplay is still very clunky. That's what everyone tells me. That's what I would tell you myself. The world and scenery are great. However, The Last of Us is about its story. In the first game, we had the beautiful tale of a father, a daughter, of finding hope and happiness, even in the darkest places. In this game, all you get is revenge, bad people, bad, you are always a villain in someone else's story. Well, gee, thanks for bringing nothing new. Not only does the story not pay out, it drags you along with characters that previously made you hate, so it's hard to root for. After just one hour with new character Abby, I was desperate to move along, but no, it drags you for more than six hours of a gameplay and storytelling. I don't care, and was half seeing how I could kill this character the best. So, spoiler alert coming in here. Joel gets murdered by a transgender person called Abby. Um, 
And then you're forced to play this trans gender person for about six, seven hours of the game after she just killed off Joel in a very violent and just stupid way. It makes no sense. Plot holes everywhere. Half the story, like it just, it doesn't give you rhymes or reason. It doesn't give you action. It's just bad, 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 bad writing. And then on a funnier note, which I made in my video yesterday, is the head developer for Naughty Dog inserted himself into the game as one of the characters, and then he just raw dogs, no spit, uh, the transgender person known as Abby. So there's that nice scene. But anyways, the use of dogs to make you feel worse about yourself by learning their names and non-aggressive side to make you feel bad is essentially what this game tries to do is make the player bad, feel bad rather, for the linear story the game developers made. It is not a good way to go about it, I must say, especially because they made you root so much in the first game for Ellie and Joel. All in all, a great disappointment and what it feels like the downfall of once a great gaming company. It really does blow my mind trying to figure out what they were thinking when they made this game. I spent so long anticipating this game, avoiding social media for spoilers just to play it, and I'm in shock right now. Not the good kind. Not the kind they try to instill in this ham-fisted disgrace of a plot development. I'm angry I spent money on this. I love shock value in the video game, but this just feels like I paid someone to take a crap on me. Everything feels forced. Nothing feels natural. It's about as creative as a hand buzzer when it tries to make you care about anything in the game after the first two hours. So what you're taking away from this video and the review. The gameplay is not good. The story has plot holes all through it. The graphics look good, cool. And it's just a mess of plot and just manipulation of a person's feelings in the game. And you don't care about anybody in the game. And they just basically destroy everything from the first game that they built. And there's a lot of lesbian stuff in it, a lot of trans stuff in it. And that seems like more important than the actual story and the game itself. And if you work in the media and you work as a game developer and you work as a game reviewer, you have to give the score a 95. Because strong woman, strong, strong woman. But if you don't get paid, you can give it a proper score of 3.4, which according to some ordinary gamers is probably still too high. So that's the long story short of it. Thank you for watching. I'm thoughts. Don't waste your money. Don't buy Last of Us 2. Game sucks. I want my money back. And last and really most importantly, not least, stay black. Question authority. And don't let the crack a reptilian shapeshifter bring you down.